Hello, everyone. Welcome to Straight Bat with Gulf News. It's day three of the T20 World Cup in Australia. And today we had Bangladesh playing Netherlands and Zimbabwe playing Africa. So Bangladesh beat the Netherlands rather, rather handsomely, although, although the margin of uh, win was a nine run one. But there was no, never any doubt of a Bangladesh victory. In fact, they were their first in the T, uh, in the Super 12 in a T20 World Cup. Zimbabwe and South Africa they tried their best to uh, to finish a rain affected match, which started late. There were a couple of indirect interruptions, and finally the match was rained off, and there was no result, which means the teams unhappily split a point each. I think Zimbabwe would be a glad to gap that point, but South Africa definitely. Uh, would miss that point. Now, if we have with us uh, Satish, our uh, Gulf News Sports Editor. Let's discuss the match today. Satish, what do you make of today's matches? Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a dampener, especially for, for South Africa, because uh, uh, rain is continuing to affect uh, South Africa's uh, chances in the World Cup. And this could also prove uh, crucial because uh, in a, uh, they, now South Africa have to beat uh, India and or Pakistan to have any chance. They, whatever uh, the little points they could have got from Zimbabwe would have helped them, even if they had lost one of those matches. But uh, that's not to be because uh, uh, now the, they have split points. Uh, they have got only one point from the Zimbabwe game. And they were so close. Basically, they were only about two or three uh, shots away from uh, getting those runs. Uh, uh, so, But still, uh, it's, a, it's a sad state of affairs for uh, South Africa. On the other hand, uh, Bangladesh, who have been uh, meticulously preparing, and uh, when I spoke to the coaches, they were saying that they were uh, they lost very narrowly uh, to the teams. Now they are at least uh, getting their first victory, uh, albeit against an associate country, but at least a win is a win. Uh, so they must be happy as well. In fact, when you just, uh, say that about uh, Bangladesh, one of the things I uh, noticed today was uh, Shakib Al Hassan saying that. He's been, Shakib Hassan is may, maybe one of the four players to have the played all the World Cups. That is, from 2007 onward, he's played 10 World Cups. But he still hasn't had a World Cup or a Super 12 victory under his belt until today. So he, has, he was happy to put that away. But having said that, uh, Netherlands didn't do, do, do too badly because they restricted uh, Bangladesh to 144, which again is a subpar score. So yeah. uh, I think there is reason enough for Bangladesh to be worried about their batting. What do you say, Sadish? Because only Afif Hussain yeah. made any runs there. Correct, absolutely, Sham. I think in that towards the end, I think there's a uh, Mossadegh came and got some runs uh, 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 finally. So that's well their total. Otherwise, they would have been in real trouble. Yes, uh, again, we have to also take into consideration that the Bangladesh team is again a young team. They are in the rebuilding process. Only about three or four of them are uh, experienced. So, in that sense, uh, uh, they should be happy that you know, like they have won a close game. Yes, uh, moving forward, Bangladesh need to play a better game. Uh, especially, you know, like the, the again, uh, as we keep talking about Australian wickets, Australian grounds, they need to play a better game. Uh, just the way, it, 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 there are enough games for them to understand and learn from these. Uh, what Kohli did yesterday, what Hardik Pandya did yesterday. If they watch these matches, uh, they can pretty well uh, find out and figure out a particular way of approach, how they need to go ab about in the batting. Yes, it's an end team, but they should uh, learn faster. I think they have had enough matches under the belt to say that uh, they are now uh, getting the experience. Uh, having been you made, uh, made a reference to Kohli's uh, escape act yesterday, I mean, the uh, Netherlands did something very similar to that, isn't it? Because yeah. they, they had lost... Uh, the first two wickets in the first two balls, then they lost two right. more wickets. So uh, yeah. they were pretty much looking down the battle uh, at, the, at one point before, uh, uh, before Ackerman. I think it was, yeah, Colin, Colin Ackerman. Ackerman and Van Mik Mikuren who pulled them out uh, back into the game. Yeah. Uh, so that is, uh, that, for an associated, uh, associated na a nation, that is a steep learning curve, isn't it? This is precisely Absolutely. why we need associate nations in the main draw. <laughs> Absolutely, Sean. Uh, uh, these are, again, a, a, a great effort from Ackerman, but again, uh, maybe, you know, like Paul won Ackerman in the final. But what is happening is, like, uh, this is exactly the problem with the Associate Nations because of the lack of experience. They allow the match to drift away from them, and then they finally try to scamper something, but still they fell, fall short by a little margin. That should not be the case. They should be, uh, you know, like, 
at least in the top uh, uh, four or five, one more batsman should have been with Ackerman so that they could have come, they could have probably crossed the line. But again, uh, Bangladesh is a very good bowling side. Uh, so to come this far itself is a big credit to them. Yes. Uh, but again, uh, uh, I think that we need to find a way how these associate nations can uh, play better and uh, get more experience uh, as they come for the World Cup. Yeah, one of the one of the positives which uh, Shakib Al Hassan uh, said that they take out of the match is the performance of Tuskin Ahmed, who came away with four wickets and also was his supporting act Hassan. So. Yeah. Uh, be between them, they did most of the damage. This Hassan Mahmoud got two for, two for 15, whereas uh, Taskin Ahmed came away with four for 25. Good performances yes. for it to side rebuilding and to see some ex youngsters put their hand up. Correct. Correct, uh, Chan. Uh, Taskin is a, a quality player. I think he had some experience that maybe he was not there for a while and they came back. But uh, yeah, Taskin is one of those who had uh, some experience under his belt. Uh, and he uh, he showed that uh, he also came in to uh, use that to full effect. So that that way uh, they have, they were able to uh, get that extra uh, effort, which uh, no like that needed for Bangladesh to win. He's got about 45 or uh, 50 uh, uh, matches uh, in uh, one day and 40 40 plus matches in uh, T20s, 50 matches in one day. And so he's he's been an experienced guy. And uh, he's got some good runs also under his belt, but he can come in uh, uh, handy with the bat as well. Yeah, uh, it's it's positive for Bangladesh. Now, going out to the other match, South Africa seems to have a love affair with rain. Tell me more about it, sir. <laughs> Sham, I, seriously, I, I, 30 years, yeah, they, their uh, luck has not changed. <laughs> right from the time when uh, they played the semi-finals against England in the 1992 World Cup, of course, that's a 50 over World Cup where a, a, a 23 needed of 13 balls and there was a rain interruption when they came back. I still remember that scoreboard reading 22 of one ball, and uh, uh, yeah. I think it's a uh, 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 I, I'm forgetting the the all rounder, the Burley all rounder. He came and defended the last ball. To make, make Lance Klusner. No, that, no, no, that no, 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 it was not Lance Klusner. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm forgetting the, the name. Uh, uh, oh, oh, McMillan. Wow. Uh, no, Sham. No, no. Uh, I think when they came back, uh, it was... Uh, he, he was not you the mean express Jack space Callis? Guy. Not no, Callis, no, right? He was, not, he was not the express space guy, but uh, uh, he, he, he could bowl a fairly decent bounce and pace. And uh, I think, it, I, I'll tell you, it is a... Uh, uh, I think it's a McMillan. Brian McMillan. Yeah. Correct. He's Craig Brian McMillan, McMillan. Yeah. correct. Yeah. Brian, Brian yeah. sorry, he came no, in. Craig is New Zealand, yes. Yeah, Brian McMillan, yeah, he came and defended the last ball to make it a point that, you no, know, like, uh, it, it's it's a farce. So, yeah. similar things no, Those were the early days of uh, Duckworth Lewis, so a yeah, lot, more, lot more refinement has happened and I think that things are a lot better now. Now, having said that, they really made a match of it because uh, they, uh, they had uh, Zimbabwe on the hop, basically... Uh, the they, they, the Zimbabwe were uh, restricted to seventy nine in the nine is uh, seventy nine for five in the nine overs. Wesley Madveredi doing much of the scoring there, thirty five over eighteen Curry. balls, and Milton Shumba adding eighteen. That means they put on fifty three. I think it's about sixty. No, six, sixty in partnership, uh, Sham almost, because the nineteen nineteen for four, they were yeah. uh, seventy nine uh, for five. Sixty in partnership they made, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You, you are. They were 19 for four and they hauled them to 79. You're right. So 60 runs partnership there. So now, uh, what is more, um, uh, what is very, very, what you call, and what struck me from the, uh, in that match is the way South Africa went about it, specifically how Quinton Decock went about it. Absolutely. First over, he had four fours, a six, and a single of the <laughs> over. That is 23 runs on the over. What yeah. a start that was. Tell us more Correct. about it. Oh, Sham, uh, 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 Quinton Decock is a treat to watch, and he's a he's a he's a brilliant player in world cricket today. And he showed why why he is such a talent, and what uh, what differentiates between him and the rest. He was hitting fours at will, and it was not uh, a slog. Excepting maybe one shot, he played a, a shot where it, it got the top edge and went. But other than that, he was playing perfect cricketing shots, and he was literally toying with the bowling. 
but sadly his knock of uh, 47 in 18 balls had to be you know like uh, consigned uh, consigned to as a no result <laughs> that was in a, I mean that one that didn't come off uh, well anyway yeah. what what, what uh, struck me there was do you agree that Tim Babuma should have opened with uh, uh, with uh, Quinn and Decock especially because Babuma have been struggling for runs so I think especially in a game where you need to go uh, and score quickly because when the uh, revised target was set for seven overs uh, so they need something like 64. Bauma, okay, true. Bauma played only two balls, he scored two singles of each other. But I would have seen somebody like uh, Miller coming along, along with uh, Quinn and Decock. Do you agree with me? Uh, in a way, yes, Sham. In a way, what has happened is when they started the innings, they were looking at the nine over mark. Only when they, after the first 1.1 over, uh, the, the rain came and then it, made, it became a seven over game. So you, even you then. Yeah, maybe the, the even then is... you would rather close out the match early, isn't uh, it? And yes, you absolutely. have somebody like a, a finisher in uh, David Miller, who is, who I mean, who is one of the most feared finishers in the game today. And I, I would have expected him to come up. No, maybe what the thought process must have been is uh, keep one end up and then attack the other end because they don't want to lose the game. Also, instead of, instead of chasing two points, you shouldn't be losing two points as well. So they must be keeping yeah, but... Boma as a yeah. That's mm. yeah, that's a very negative way of approach, actually. Uh, but uh, yeah, in the net, net uh, end, uh, Baum only played two balls. So at best, yeah, if Miller had been there, he could have even got those two fours of those two balls as well. So yeah, that way, yeah, guess, it, uh, they could have come closer to that. No, what I was struck there, it was not those two balls and two runs there. It was the mindset. I thought that was more Correct. a defensive mindset. Absolutely, absolutely, it's a more of a defensive mindset. Correct, absolutely. I, I fully agree with you on that count. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so that's where uh, that's just it for today. To a bit of a damn scoop. Oh, we have a big game matches. coming up tomorrow. We have a it's a it's a pretty very big game for Australia. They have to find their winning base back. They are playing against Sri Lanka. So hopefully we'll see uh, the true Australian team that will turn up tomorrow. But again, if they don't, then they will be in deep trouble because they have a minus four plus uh, four point something uh, as a yes. They're the only team rate. with a minus uh, run rate. Yes. Uh, so, uh, so it's very, very true. In fact, uh, I had tipped Australia to win the cup, and I think they might as well. They should win it for me at least. Uh, yeah. And they are playing in the fastest pitch in the world, the Perth, the yeah. Perth Stadium uh, at 3 p.m. tomorrow. That is the match Correct. against Sri Lanka, and Sri Lanka are a tricky customers. See, absolutely, when, absolutely. When the bigger the match, they they uh, they they seem to do well. In fact, bigger the yeah. they might struggle against mm. the associate nations. But when it comes to the bigger teams, they put out their best performance. So I think the Australia better watch out for, and especially when coming off a of a, a loss, it might not help them. Yeah. So, and uh, Cham, I was talking to Tom Modi recently, and uh, he was a coach of Sri Lanka, and he said uh, Sri Lanka are uh, known to punch above the weight in the ICC events. So they have always done this historically. So. Uh, coming from an Australian, they should be wary of uh, what they are coming up against tomorrow. So, who is your pick for tomorrow's win? Oh, I, I, I in this uh, rate, I would even uh, go with the Sri Lanka Sham. Uh, I want uh, <laughs> because they have quality spinners and uh, the way Australia played, unless they change their approach, uh, it becomes very difficult for them to you know like even beat Sri Lanka. But against Sri Lanka, there are some very good talents who can take the match away from you on their day. Much as I want to agree with you, Satish, but I would stay with Australia because I picked them to win shot. the cup. So <laughs> you I might as well stay with them. Of back course, there. You Australia, can back Australia has a quality in them. It's just that they need to get their act together. Correct. I hope they That's do that tomorrow. And I hope we all, that is the we've all point. wanted that to happen, Sham. That's where the, the, the we want to see a good World like... Cup. And I think Australia going out wouldn't, wouldn't help. So Correct. thank you everyone for watching us. Uh, that's all from us today uh, for all the latest updated developments videos and uh, the breaking stories please log on to gulfnews.com and all our social media channels thank you very much good night thank you